What up, what up, people? Welcome to the Birdman Adventures. I'm out today exploring, and I've come across another abandoned garden centre right down here in the southwest. And I thought I'd make a nice little video of it and talk about a few things while I'm here as well. So, firstly, I just want to say thanks for watching my videos. Um, if you haven't already, please can you subscribe to my channel because it really helps. Um, it helps me grow in that and it just gives me the inspiration I need to keep going. Do you know what I mean? So, thanks if you've done that. If you haven't already, just go and click the bell button where it says subscribe. Easy peasy. So, moving on from that. Um, another thing I want to talk about. If you haven't already, go check out my Facebook page. It's called The Birdman Adventures. You can find me on there. Um, that one's growing as well, which is great. I'm on Instagram as well. So, if you want to go check me out there. Yeah, again, you can find me under the Birdman Adventures, so lots of things there to go and look at. I put all my pictures up online, so after I do my videos and that, I go around taking photos, and I, I think they are truly, they just show something different, do you know what I mean? So go check them out, but also, I'm having some, I don't know what it is, but I think it's technical problems at the moment. I can't log into my Facebook page, all right? So if anyone's trying to get hold of me, you can't at the moment through that because I think someone's probably reported me again. This happens here and there. People get jealous and they report my posts or where I've been and they think, oh, you're breaking into that. He's break he must be breaking into there. We're gonna report him and that isn't the case. You know what I mean? Look, I've I'm sat in an abandoned static caravan at the moment. I haven't broken into this place. I've just found it. That was weird. Sounded like someone knocking at a door. Anyway, strange. Um, yeah, so I can't log on to my Facebook page at the moment. Really annoying because I think someone's reporting me again. And then what happens is it just takes a few days and then I can get back on it. They normally send me a message saying why you've been reported blah 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 and then problem solved I'll just say yep yeah, I agree to all that bollocks I'm sorry won't do it again whatever I've done because I don't understand why people get annoyed sometimes at what I'm doing because I don't think I'm doing anything wrong I'm just going around exploring and looking at different places do you know what I mean places that people wouldn't normally see and that's why I'm sharing it with you guys so you can see it and it might give you some inspiration to get out there and go explore you know, forget what they're saying on the news. Forget what all that, that that doom and gloom that's going around at the moment. You know what I'm talking about. Just get out and go and explore. Forget about everything else in the world. Do you know what I mean? That's what it is for me, personally. It just, it, you know, I feel like I'm in a different world when I'm coming out here exploring these places. As you can see, it is different. So, anyway, moving on. Let's rock and roll and go explore. You must think, wow, he talks so much shit. Uh, I guess I do sometimes, but I speak the truth. That's the only difference. It may sound like a load of bollocks, but look at this old static caravan. You know what I love about it? How nature's taking it back with all the thorns and everything growing through it. I mean, look at it. Look at this big one here. It's just rooted out from the side there. And this place I found, it's right next door to some, like, um construction work site or something so and look it's completely overgrown to bits so god knows how old this place is and i said it's in the abandoned garden center i'm going to show you the garden center in a minute but i just want to have a look at this static caravan a bit more so you guys can see what i'm seeing do you know what i mean someone lived it someone lived it this must have been where you know the people that worked at the garden center they used to live or something or you know staff accommodation or maybe it was just a hangout place do you know what i mean a staff room where they come here make cups of tea and talk about their day yeah look at it let me just get out of here a minute and i'll show you this static caravan from the outside this place is trashed Completely graffitied everywhere as well, look. Sweet home Alabama. <laughs> yeah. Funny, isn't it? S-T-O-K, whoever the fuck you are. Your graffiti is lame. Oh, I just 
look at all them brambles. Do you know what I mean? And there's lots more trash all the way out there that they've just dumped things. But I can't be bothered to go trekking through brambles to have a look at all that. It's just littered with shit like this, do you know what I mean? But let me show you inside the garden centre. Because it really is something else. It's just taken back by nature. That's what I love about these places. I would call this place lost. It's a lost kind of, a, well, it is abandoned. You know, a lot of people say, that's not abandoned, is it? You know, I, I can't always get it. Some places I just find, and they might not be abandoned, but I'll go and fucking look at it anyway. <laughs> but I never, and I repeat, I never force entry, okay? So all them little fuckwits that think that I'm breaking into places, I'm not. There might be a hole or a gap I can slide through and just take a peek. Do you know what I mean? Not doing any harm. Look at the roof caved in on this. Mental. Moth boy. You sound fucking lame as well. Fucking moth boy. Show you in there in a minute. I'm gonna walk around. Look at this thing, this thing caught my eye when I was walking through this place. Ah, look at that thing there. Do you know what I mean? It's like, it's just, it's just complete, this place is just completely overgrown, isn't it? But wow. Just things like that, it's just, it looks like apocalyptic. I like looking at places and thinking, wow. I feel like I'm on, on the set for The Walking Dead or something, you know? <laughs> Damn brambles. <laughs> Completely trashed, isn't it? But it's still nice to see, to imagine what, what it used to look like. This garden centre. Ouch. And then here we've got some like little, I don't know what this place in this bit would have been. We've got a snooker table in here, like a little bar kind of area. So I'm not quite sure, maybe it was like a, a cafe bit or something. All the fucking graffiti everywhere. Moth boy again. Snook table's just trashed. We've ripped that off. Little bastards. I don't understand the logic in you know, the smash windows and you know what I mean? Spray paint. Army issue, eh? Does it? I think they need to get better at their graffiti. Looks like something a 10 year old would do. <laughs> I like graffiti, but I like graffiti that's like artistic. None of this fucking shit. I mean, look, they've got fucking noughts and crosses on there and shit. It's just stupid, isn't it? Why 
they made a little ramp or something here. Well, this is almost it. I'm gonna go back out here. This is another caravan out this way. It's not like the static caravan, it just shows you it's just a random caravan. It's still just abandoned and left here. Look at this place from the outside a minute. You know what I mean? Completely overgrown, isn't it? And then there's this random caravan. Completely trashed as well. Not even worth taking any pictures in, I'd say. Yep, yeah, that's it, guys. That is it for now. I'm um, going to slow down a bit as well because I've just been going out every day, exploring, going to this place, that place, this, you know, it's going everywhere and I've shown you guys so much now, do you know what I mean? I need to slow down and pace myself a bit more because in a minute I'm, I'm going to head north basically, I've been um, out trying to conquer the south and do everything that I can down here because in a minute I'm going to get a motorhome basically. And me and the dogs, we're gonna live in that moat home and we're gonna just go around everywhere. We're gonna start heading north a bit and start looking at places up there. So that's what I mean. Get subscribing, you know, and, so, and you know, we'll go to fantastic places. You'll, you'll see fantastic places. I'll go to fantastic places, but I'm gonna share it with you guys. So yeah, if you haven't done it, go and subscribe. Um, don't mind if you share this if you want, it just helps other people see it as well other people that are interested in this kind of stuff. So thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you on the flip side.